Hi, my name's Gemma from Making Faces, and today I'm going to show you how to make a creeper design. It's really quick and easy, and the kids love it. First of all, load a sponge with light green and apply it over the eyebrows, temples, and down the bridge of the nose. For this, I'm using global light green. Make sure your sponge is fully loaded and use a stipple action to apply the colour to achieve a nice, even coverage. Don't go too far up the forehead, as this is where the creeper will be going later. Next, load your sponge with a darker green and add some depth and definition to your design, paying particular attention to the temples. I'm using Snaz Dark Green. Use your sponge to blend the colours together. Here I'm using a half inch flat brush with a green split cake by Diamond FX. I'm not sure what colour it is right now but I'll find out and put it in the details below. Use this colour to outline the shape of the creeper's head, making sure to keep the darker colour on the outside. Then use the side of your brush with the light green on to fill in the middle. Then use your brush to blend in with the surrounding colour nicely. Now, I'm using a small sponge dauber loaded with the same split cake I just used and a graffiti eye stencil to add random squares to the design to give it that Minecraft feel. Put them here, there, wherever you like. If you have more time, then you can repeat this step using white and black too to make your design pop even more. If you don't have any of these graffiti eye stencils yet, um, I'd really recommend buying them. I got mine from the face painting shop in the UK. Um, I find now that I use them nearly with every single face that I do and they really make them look extra special. Take a round number six brush loaded with a strong black and draw squares for the creeper's eyes and mouth. I'm using a round number six Lowell Canal brush and black diamond effects. Now at this point my model got a little bit wriggly so it took a little bit longer than usual and I think next time I think I'll probably use a small flat brush instead to make the squares. I think that'll be easier. Using the same brush and colour, paint some cracks forming beneath the creeper to make it seem like he is bursting from the ground. The trick is here to use varying pressure on your bristles to create thick and thin lines, lifting off gently to create a fine point at the end. Don't worry about being accurate here, let your brush wander and make some interesting lines. Add some cracks around the temples too. By now the paint on your brush is probably getting a bit dry, so now is a good time to use it to add some gentle shading to the base of the creeper. I use my finger to blend this in even more. Now take a small round size 0 brush loaded with white and add angled highlights to the eyes and also highlight your cracks to give them a 3D effect. Thank you. 
Using a small round brush again, outline the creeper with black. Here I decided to add a little bit more highlighting to the design. You could have done this earlier. Um, again, I use my finger to blend it in. And there we have it, a fun, quick and easy creeper design. Thank you for watching, hope you try this too at home. If you enjoyed my video then please hit the like button 